Outrageous predictions for Ohio State's first road trip to Purdue since 2018. Last one didn't go well. Several of them have not gone well in the recent history. And, Andrew, we're going to start with you with outrageous predictions because I think you're thinking the same thing is going to happen. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I said this beforehand, and, and I got some, some eyes directed in my way, as you can see right now. Uh, Ohio State's going to win. They're going to win by single digits, so nine or fewer points. Uh, this game is going to be alarmingly close. Uh, and I think there are a couple different reasons for this. Number one, we just checked the weather as we did this. So Wednesday night at 8.02 p.m., 10 to 20 mile an hour winds. It's going to rain. It's going to be cloudy. It's not going to be ideal situations for throwing the ball. What does Ohio State do well? It's running the ball, right? Oh, wait, no, it's throwing the ball. The offensive line has been a problem. The offensive line has been a problem running the ball. They couldn't really do it against Maryland, and I think Purdue is going to know that. So there's problem number one. The weather is not on their side. Number two, they have to play on the road. Purdue is typically a house of horrors for them. What were they favored in that game where they lost by 29 points? 12. 12 points, and they, they lost by 29. Purdue has not really been kind to them. They typically don't really play well at ross Age Stadium. Mecca Buka. He's probably going to be out, we would say, at this point. Probably not going to play, whatever it is. He, he's going to be out, and then you've got maybe a hobbled Marv. I understand Marv did great things last week, but when you lose a Mecca, you lose another option to throw the ball to. And now you have Marv, and you bring it up somebody else who you're going to have to rely on pretty significantly. There are just some things that you look at. they got to play Penn State next week. They have that huge game against Penn State next week. I, I just think that this is kind of setting up for a sloppy not all that an awe-inspiring performance by Ohio State. They're going to win. They're going to stay unbeaten. But I wouldn't be surprised if this game ends in single, di single digits. That's why I'm going to say outrageous predictions. Ohio State's going to win by nine or fewer. Looking forward to that score prediction. You yep. can get that on Buckeye Talk, wherever you can find podcasts coming up this weekend, later this week. Uh, listen, I don't know that Ohio State's going to be able to throw the ball that well either, and I don't think it's going to matter because I think they're going to run for 250 yards as a team. And it's obviously the run game has been inconsistent. The run game has definitely had problems in short yards. A couple of things they have going for him. Number one, Trevon Henderson coming back, we believe. Everyone says he's going to be playing this week, and it sounds like it's in the it's the trajectory is heading there. Uh, Purdue is a bad run defense. It's just a bad run defense. I think they're allowing like 5.3 sack-adjusted yards per carry. Uh, Ohio State's going to be able to go out and get some big chunk yardage in this game, regardless of where this offensive line is at right now. And on top of all those things, I always sort of like – try to think of ahead to like these guys are sick of people calling them out they're tired of the narrative that this team can't run the ball I think they're gonna come into a game like this and prove they can and I don't think it whether they prove it or not doesn't help them beat Penn State in two weeks so I don't know if it's going to matter but I think this can be one of those games where they show off a little bit multiple guys have pretty good games running the ball so I'm gonna say 250 yards which for this offense this year is a pretty good amount of yardage Stephen what is your outrageous prediction <laughs> I say I'm saying that Ohio State's going to have 200 yard rushers in this game. They haven't had that since the Wisconsin game in 2022 when Travion Henderson and Mayan Williams both did that. When I think that Wisconsin game last year was magnum opus Ryan Day in the regular season. The pass game was in, was working well. The run game was working well, and the numbers showed it. I with I don't think they're going to be able to throw it around the yard. I do think this is a bigger opportunity for maybe Xavier Johnson to be more involved in the passing attack and not just this gadget player for them in the offense because like the slot just gets the ball in this offense. And if Emeka Buka potentially isn't playing, that's even more of a reason for Purdue to just we're going to we're going to sell out on stopping number 18. So maybe there's a chance for him, but I think they're going to run the ball. I think they're going to force feed Travion Henderson. I think they're going to force feed Chip Trenton. And I, I think they just want to get the run game going. And this is a week to do that because Purdue's not particularly good at stopping the run either. So that helps. So Travion Henderson, Chip Trenton, both over 100 yards on Saturday. Wildly differing opinions on outrageous uh, predictions. We haven't had that really yet this year. We're going kind of head to head. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, Buckeye Talk, we'll be having a you know our usual preview episode. We will be broadcasting from not broadcasting podcasting from Ross State Stadium after the game so get that wherever you can find podcasts and get the text 614-350-3315 news updates analysis before during after the game from cleveland.com